As a PlayStation 4 owner, you've put a lot of hard-earned money into the console. Similar to owning a pet, there's a lot of care and treatment that should go into your PS4. Knowing what not to do will often save you a lot of hassle and major costs down the line. Before we begin, subscribe to The Gamer and don't forget to ring that bell to become a part of our notification squad where you'll be the first to know of new content. Without further ado, here are some things you should never do to your PS4. Free stuff. As a gamer, gaming scams seem so tempting and are really hard to avoid. Free games, hey, free PS Plus accounts, ooh, free gift cards. The only thing free in scenarios like these is all of the free information scammers and hackers are gaining from your account. It's time to avoid these free gimmicks and learn that nothing, nothing is free, especially when it comes to gaming. Never, ever, ever give out your login information and good luck getting the viruses off your computer the next time you try to fill out the easy survey for a free PS Store gift card. It's not real, don't do it. Jailbreaking a single console. Jailbreaking your PS4 console just sounds cool. You feel like a hacker, someone who beat the system. You have a $400 console that can emulate original Game Boy games with very minor glitches. There are tutorials everywhere and performing a jailbreak seems fun, but unless you own two PS4 consoles, it's not worth it. Not only do you lose access to the network, but it becomes much more challenging to download DLC content, game patches, and other upgrades. Plus, you're always at risk for a permanent ban from the fine folks at Sony. Just enjoy the console for what it is. Clearing out space. As a console owner, no matter how much storage you have on your hard disk drive, it just never seems like enough. Once things start getting full, you feel tempted to clear out items and get ready for the newest game download. Unfortunately, one wrong move could severely screw up your console. Not only does deleting random files have the chance to screw up games, but you may not have everything backed up on the cloud. Double and triple check your files before you make any decisions to delete them. Follow guides online to see the recommended files you should delete. Playing through the storm. Sure, getting struck by lightning may be rare, but experiencing a power surge is not. With thunderstorms booming around your area, it may not be the best idea to go and pick up your DualShock controller. A power surge can cause massive problems to the PS4. Circuits may fry. The system may not load properly, and wires could even melt. These electrical problems may even occur if the PS4 is just plugged in and you're not even playing it. Don't take any chances. Use a surge protector when necessary, and even unplug your PS4 if it's not in use. Oh, no one unplugs it after they play? Well, then forget about that last part. Entertainment centers. The design of the PS4 is sleek, modern, and looks good around a lot of other home theater devices. When setting up your PS4, you want to ensure the console is unobstructed and left as wide open as possible. Shoving the PS4 into a short shelf or stacking other devices on top of it could easily lead to overheating. Even if the PS4 sticks out like a sore thumb on a tabletop or directly in front of the TV, you'll feel confident knowing the device has the proper airflow and things won't overheat connect your Fortnite account. While PS4 owners may be dedicated to their consoles, you want to keep your options open as much as possible. Sony is notorious for blocking crossplay in numerous games, including the Battle Royale sensation Fortnite. If you already have a Fortnite account on another console like the Xbox One or Switch, don't link this account to the PS4 in any way. Your best bet is to start fresh and open a new account on the PS4. With the exclusive account, you don't need to worry about using it on other consoles and can build up your skins and extras solely for your PS4 account. Getting impatient. As annoying as they can be, system software updates are just an everyday part of modern gaming. These updates may take several minutes, but the most important part of them is staying patient. Don't try to get out of the update or reset your console. Doing so may actually brick your console and prevent it from running again, like ever again. Even a power outage during an update may cause issues. To help prevent this, consider a surge protector with a battery backup so your PS4 still has power and errors don't occur if the power goes out. 
Controller Replacements A properly working controller goes a long way in providing you with the best gaming experience. It can be extremely frustrating if the controller doesn't respond, lags, or runs into another issue. Before you toss your DualShock out the window or order a replacement online, consider resetting the controller first. The DualShock 4 has a built-in reset button to help fix any issues that arise. The small button is easily pressed with the end of a paperclip and reconnects to your PS4. Whatever you do, just don't try and slam the controller out of frustration. Then you'll really run into even more problems. Forcing discs. While many of us has converted to all digital purchases on the PS4, the disc drive is still a huge component on the console. It's not only used for games, but will run media content like Blu-ray discs as well. The automatic feeder is meant to pull in the disc without any help. Do not attempt to push a disc when you insert it or pull one out when ejecting. You could mess up the motor on the PS4 and cause it to constantly run or eject discs when you never intended to. Expensive HDMI Cables When playing games on the PS4 or PS4 Pro, you want the best quality possible. Many people believe the quality comes from the HDMI cable, but this isn't the case. The bargain bin HDMI cable will offer the same type of audio and video quality as the super expensive Pro Gamer cable. This is just another cash grab some electronics companies known for selling good quality cables do to make a quick buck. Multiple studies have been done showcasing how all HDMI cables are basically the same and you won't notice a picture quality difference. If you're looking for better quality, try upgrading your television instead. Well, there you have it. What mistakes have you made with your PS4? Are there any we missed? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to The Gamer for more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.